How's it going, everyone? I, 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 I'm nostalgic, Dave, and uh, w w w welcome back aboard the nostalgia train. I, 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 I know we're not starting at the load point. Uh, that's because when I opened Doki Doki. You, you know how the, the there's a screen that says this game is not suitable for children or anybody with who gets like nausea or something like that or gets like depressed easily. Those words weren't there. Instead, let's let's see if I can activate it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it going to do it again? Last time I opened it, it said. I have granted kids to hell? Okay, I didn't say that. What the hell? Okay, fine. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's move on. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. At least you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Um, that's a no. No? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Okay, time passes, I can tell. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. She's asleep. Looks like she's started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki? Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! Whoa! Okay! Um, I didn't sign up for this. I mean, I, I guess technically I did, but I don't know what that says. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Um. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. Throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. Snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to get... She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Pink Fox. She's fine. She's fine, my ass! Did you see her eyes and her mouth? It started going... <laughs> I, I don't trust you! It just happens every now and then. She glitches out that often? That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Um, sure. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. Probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Yeah, this part's all the same. It's literally the same thing! Yuri? Well, it's, it's, it's this, it is this, it is the same. It wouldn't let me skip it if it wasn't, so. Hi, Pink Fox. Oops. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, 
And since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, or, you know, some things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up anyway. With the BS I just went through. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Pink Fox. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm -hmm. I like it, Pink Fox. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something not stupid. Haven't I read this already? Why can't I skip it? She's a good writer, too. That's why. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. Uh. What the hell? Her dad is abusive. Sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. That, that would explain the sleeping earlier. Yeah. This is just a guess. But I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. That actually does make sense. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. Sure. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Wait, have I read this before? Hole in the wall. He wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burdened eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle. Closing in on me, the air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. Panic. There must be a way out. He's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Yeah, I don't think that was in the original. I don't think that was in Act 1. I mean, I could skip the other poems, so I'm assuming they were in Act 1, but, you know. So, what do you think? Mm, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Yeah? Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Skip time. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. It's a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing ability. Um. Okay, I think I'm hearing things. Hold on. Yeah, 
not hearing things. The music's fine. I thought it went off key, but no, nope. yeah, I'm hearing things. Even if their po they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. Eh, I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Oh boy. Oh no. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. I am getting a random message on my phone. Phone, come on. Yeah, it was a notification that was kind of important, actually. <laughs> what is this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you can say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Hey, at least it was what she was going for. Yours is, uh... Cute. Cute? Did he completely miss the symbolism or something? I mean, with the first poem, I, I didn't. It was simplistic, but it was to the point. It's clearly about the feeling of giving. Okay, I didn't get that, though. If I remember the poem correctly, I didn't get that. How can that be cute? I, 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 I know that. I just mean... The language, I guess. Look, Natsuki, she's trying to be nice. Come on. I was trying to say some Yeah! <laughs> huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Oh, boy. This can't go well. Where's Sayori when you need her? And I know, I know, shush, I don't like the fact... Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Come on, Natsuki. Um, well, I do have a couple of such. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Huh. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. People did, by the way. Haven't I already heard this? Monica liked it, and Pink Fox did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing, establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. And Pink Fox liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Uh oh. Music stopped. Why did the music stop? Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh oh. But that's not what I. Uh, y y you're just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Pink Fox appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Um... Can we not involve me? Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cute. Whoa. Alright, now we're attacking each other. Can we please not? Look, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as- Okay, I know I've read this before. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little- This doesn't involve you! Okay. Do you think 
taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, not Me? Look who's talking. You wanna you wanna be edgy bitch? Whoa! Okay, that's why I'm not allowed to skip. Okay. Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over them. To Whoa! Can we please not? They graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You're not any better, Yuri. Right now, you're not any better. <laughs> Please tell me there are no bugs underneath this if I do this. Yeah, no, actually, there's a reason. Thumbnail time! You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, or you might cut yourself on the edge here. Um. Oh, my bad. You already seem to. Okay, this is messed up. D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Whoa. Yeah, go on. Let Pink Fox hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> Suddenly, Yuri turns toward me as if she no just noticed I was standing here. Pink Fox. She she's just trying to make me look... You, you both look bad, okay? That's not true. She started it. Ah. Uh. Whoa, 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 what the hell? What? <laughs> Can I choose neither of them? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna ask Siri. I usually don't ask Siri because Siri is stupid, but... Natsuki's odds, Yuri is evens. Give me a random number. Alright, Natsuki. I don't, I, I, pfft. what the hell? This is awfully close. <laughs> Hi, Monica. Hi. Oh, that's why. Okay. Um. Hey, Pink Fox? That's Yuri. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? How are you doing that? Shouldn't your dialogue be going behind you? How are you doing that? Actually, from the developer standpoint, they probably just started a new paragraph, but... That ruins the point. Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved like that. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some present I am, right? I can't even control my... Conf <laughs> confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. You would like that, wouldn't you? I'd be happy to spend it. Yeah. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom in tears. She quickly runs away. Oh, 
dear. Well, it looks like they're done. That's kind of a dick move to make, Monica. Just say, ah, oh, they're done, let's go back. Didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Probably like... Like that kind of thing. I've done that before. I know what she's doing. Yuri? Didn't mean it. I, 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 I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Please, Fox. Please don't hate me. Please. I don't like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Why do I get the feeling that's not the case? Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. She keeps glancing at Monica. Y y you can go first, Monica. I I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. Actually, that does make sense. I'll wait for you to be done. Uh, well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Oh, boy. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's, it's not that. It's not that. I, I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Pink Fox. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, new day, I guess. Um, I'm going to intentionally try to pick Natsuki again. I'm going to stay as far away from Yuri as possible. Um, honestly, some of these I don't even know if they're who certain people. Warn? Okay. Color. Squirrel. Loud. Hop. Kiss. Dance. Jump. Lazy. Uh. Sugar. Poof. Cute. And. Come on. Lollipop. Full on Natsuki. What was that? Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I feel a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Uh. Uh. That's. Not. Normal. Welcome back, Big Fox. Hi, Yuri's boob and half of her hair. Can I see the all of Yuri, please? I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Uh oh. Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at the desk. At a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that ever has happened before. Something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. But shouldn't you be apologizing to Natsuki and not me? You don't have to worry too much. You know, I've only been here a couple of days. I can tell something was off yesterday. Yeah, no kidding! 
Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Again, apologize to her, not me. Uh, Fox? Voice crack? I don't say those kind of things so frankly. You leave me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around. And, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man! Harry, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Nazi is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, Natsuki, about yesterday, I, I just wanted to apologize. Not because I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay out of the control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Huh? I mean, okay, Monica did say that... Monica, what did you do? Jeez! I mean, that's not proper bowling, but okay. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Remember anything bad happening? You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but whoa, 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 whoa! Huh? My bulls, sailcloth, blind sight, lifeline, and an rectipitality, faultlessly offered scleromalacia. Scle what? Nade Catholicite Catholicate Huh I'll accept your apology anyway. If it helps, you feel better about it. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear since I was all always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on, you're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super late. So sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it, since I was practicing piano. Ah. Piano? I was not aware you played music as well, Monica. I'm pretty sure Nazi was. Somehow. Oh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still? That measure, that must quite require a lot of dedication. Yeah, as someone who's been doing piano for 20, yeah, 20 years now, it's, yeah. So I'm still impressed. Oh, well, thank you, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. 
<laughs> That's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Pink Fox. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I, I, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talk about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Big Fox, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you. After you gave- It didn't really matter which one I chose, did it? Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she- She's fine! She's reading over there. See? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being no Whoa! Can I- Can I please just go spend time with Natsuki now? Come on! We're over- We're going over there. Um... What's the story about anyway? Well... I look at the cover of the book. The portrait of Markov, that part's the same. Ominous looking eye. Basically, it's about this religious cap that was turned into a human- Whoa! That's not what you said the first time. Okay, that's different. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. You've described that way more lightheartedly originally, Yuri. Please go back to the original version of you. But the faculty gets even worse. And they start selectively breeding people, but... Whoa, okay. No, 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 no. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. But anyway, I, I, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. The, not the thing about the limbs. It's kind of... Dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. Huh. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Pink Fox? Dark! No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. I totally forgot that Yuri is into those kind of things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this... It's just that this kind of story... It, it's the kind of... Ch it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people, we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly, woo, I'm rambling again, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. I mean, yeah, but not for the reason this guy thinks. We have to. A little bit longer. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. Wait, your whole body becomes what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me! I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start 
talking too much. That's... I don't think you need to worry. I do, but you don't! That just means you're passionate about reading. Finally, we're getting to the creepy shit. Or at least weird. If not creepy, then definitely psychologically weird. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Whoa! How many glitches could you put in one act? Y yes. Glitches. Yeah, okay. Because the game totally didn't intend on this. I, I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. So I retrieve the book that I have put into my bag. All right. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Yeah, it don't matter whether I pick Natsuki or Yuri. I get Yuri anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. But, uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. C c comforting? Am I trying to mix comfortable with comforting? Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It's like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry Okay. I read I was just bathing it. Ew! Never mind, I'm not finishing that. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. So Stop it! Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each learn in a little bit, lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way. So instead, I use my right hand to hold the book and open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Yeah. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book. Okay, so that part's the same. Ah. I do the same with my... Yeah, that's the same. That's the same. We're holding it... Okay, when holding it, we're holding it even closer together. I think that's actually the same, too. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. That's the same. Are you ready? Huh? Yeah, that's definitely the same. I glance over Yuri's face and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Oh, that, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? Yeah, that's the same. So she's patient with me. Yeah, thanks. Are you reading, Yuri? Instead, I just assume. We fit. Okay, we. Finish the first chapter in silence. This part, okay, from here on, it'll be different. Because the first chapter is all they read in the first act. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Whoa! You guys can't see her. Look, hold on. Hold on. I'm fixing this. Come on. Scooter. That, ah, it never works. Yeah. Um. Yuri, you okay? Who am I kidding? No 
know she ain't. By the way, I'm looking down at OBS and I'm looking that way. <laughs> no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, uh, huh. Th that, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. But you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. <laughs> you didn't even get that far yet. So, I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, aren't you feeling all right? Huh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. It's irregular. That's bad. Anyways, I'm fine. <laughs> I uh, just need some water. All right. Don't go psycho on me. Too late. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. Uh. On earth? Hey, Fox. Did something happen just now? Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and I'm going to find out later. I'm leaving this here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. We're finally getting into the juicy stuff. Ugh. If you like this video, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a visual novel or horror game or something like that you'd like to see on here. Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out one that we've done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right corner. I'm trying to take you to that particular destination. Um, if you want to check out the rest of this visual novel that you might have missed, click the link across right here and the train to take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to capture you guys in another ride. Bye!